five, four, three, two, one. This is fire, boys. What the fuck? This is fire. Holy shit. Boys. This is dope. Black Ops 6 Direct. Okay, boys, it's happening. We got 25 minutes starting now of all Black Ops 6. Let's go. Come on. Hello, and welcome to Treyarch in Los Angeles. And thanks for joining us today. We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past few years. I joined at the right time, Stephen. I really agree, want dude. to give ourselves the time to craft something truly great. This means oh we're delivering a new level of polish and innovation. What's up, champ? Parts of the game. I've been working here for Drop a sub, yo. Yeah, everybody who's in here, drop a, sub, boys. drop a sub, boys. Drop a sub for more six. Call of Duty content. Team are excited to give you We're covering so much Black Ops 6 here. Let's go. What's up, Miguel? Across the entire game. Oh, it looks so good, dude. Oh, this has got to be the last Black Ops game, though. Let's be for real. Oh. Your Treyarch headquarters is so sick. A new but familiar era. Had a brand moments. development, okay. In true signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on real history, thrusting oh. players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force viewers. infiltrated the highest levels of the Let's US go, government. boys! Black Ops 6 hype. Who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time to fight the very That's sick, dude. That created them. Black Ops 6 always likes to focus on going rogue, doesn't it? With Black Ops the team 1, has been meticulously originally. crafting every aspect of this game to deliver the Holy fun shit, and attitude boys. players expect from the Black Ops. Franchise. Black Ops 6! Multiplayer is, of course, here and brings the Black Ops style and provides a playground for the brand Holy new shit. Omni Movement system. Okay, no Omni Movement. This is a new thing. I covered this on a TikTok. Like action hero. You'll see a sneak peek yeah. of that later today. Let's go. Anyways, okay, uh, I is absolutely back and better. Yeah! Be sure yeah! With that, Let's go. Step into the mind bending. We already knew it, but it's it's nice to hear it. With our partners at Raven. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Graphics realistic as fuck. It's no the same as Cold War. It's gonna look sick. Okay, what they're saying. I'll I'll, I'll tune it down. I'll tune it down. I'm just very excited. Every Call of Duty player has a favorite campaign mission. When we set out to make Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. Okay, we are bringing all the Black Ops games like that. Feel to every step of the narrative. We are giving you more variety, more dynamic moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, Dude, it looks and more sick. options. Who the fuck is Raven? It's one of their partner studios. We can do this loud or quiet. Is that Sims, guys, from Black Ops Cold War or no? I can't tell. He looks like a new character. Packed with unexpected moments of Black Ops mystery. It's a high octane spy thriller where you're never sure who to trust and what's real. And it's all set against the backdrop of the early 90s. The Soviet Union was crumbling after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. The US is the only remaining superpower. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere. Dude. And there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere Bill Clinton. across the music, television, and pop culture of the time. When we talk about the Black Ops timeline, Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but is directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2, the aftermath of which has left our heroes in dire circumstances. So oh, much see. Black Ops 6 blends the rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles dude. with bold new characters. Bold, okay, that is a new Frank dude. Woods as our through line in our story. Aww. Frank Woods is officially retired. In this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods following Aww. his traumatic injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. He's been pulled from the field as this he adjusts crazy. to a new role within the CIA. This is crazy. Often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. Aww. His protege That's sad. is Troy Marshall, who's been making it a is name a new for dude. himself in the field. Marshall okay, is cool. a reluctant leader driven by a strong... Marshall's a sick business. name, dude. Marshall and Woods are working with another new face in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. She's a born leader, fearless and brilliant. She kind of a baddie. Their relationships with not, the agents. Not her. I mean, she is too, but like Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always You know, been she she like a milk baddie. The CIA, whether they want I'm to talking about, you know, you know. And Marshall has the ability to make tough calls in the field, ones that Harrow trusts him to make. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. 
They soon realize they have to trust each Rogan? other to get to the bottom of what's going on. Without any of their usual resources, they have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius. Felix Newman? That's a brand Sabati new character. Dumas, a mysterious assassin. With the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative... Adler! Oh, I love Adler, boys. You're allowed, no offense. I know, I know, boys. I know. I'm excited. I'm very excited, champ. Single player campaign. I'm very excited. We prioritized mission variety and unique experiences. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types, each crafted from the ground up. One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. That's going to be a fire mission. take players all over the world and immerse them in vastly different experiences. Within these missions, we wanted gameplay to unfold in multiple ways. Damn. Giving the players the sick, freedom guys. to navigate through them as they see fit. Where we have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into different experiences. Whoa. And we think you'll want to replay levels to see them all. That's actually pretty sick, dude. It might be an echo, though. Yeah, it could be. My room's kind of empty right now, though, dude. I'm gonna turn down my volume just a little bit then. We are excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide different challenges for the oh, player. Oh, that dude looks like so a whether fucking they choose to go pain in, in the ass. Or take a stealthier approach. Line them up right, you can take them both out with one shot. I wonder I if like quiet. every mission you can take a stealthy you approach to. Push That'd be lit. possible in terms of how our enemy combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver you throughout the levels. But caught off escape routes, pushed on Yikes. players' location. These juggernauts are insane, dude. We've created certain missions where we give you a high-level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. One mission in particular takes place in a vast desert in Iraq. You and your team are hunting down missile launchers with the SAS. It's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created. Largest campaign maps they've ever created. It kind of looks like the Black Ops Cold War multiplayer map. Our Do you guys remember that one? Contrast in look and feel as well. We have a mission yeah, that, that looks takes phenomenal. place in an opulent casino in southern Europe. Fucking beautiful. It's unlike dude. any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the player does in this space is totally unexpected. And another one That's of our missions we have set in so the harsh tundra dope. of northern Russia. We're going back to Russia for the first time since Black Ops 1, I think. Brand new equipment, as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. RCXD, Tranquilizer yeah. Trap. Tranquilizer Trap is new, I think. Homing Knife. Disruptor. Huh. Dude, that casino mission's gonna be the best mission in Call of Duty history. Who the, the hell is this? Is grounded within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. You might remember we also had that in Black Ops Cold War. But this time, we wanted to think a little bit more broadly about the environment. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. Huh. So, what's up, Gopex? It's in an abandoned manor by an ocean cliffside. Whoa. What's That's sick, honestly. Is that That's pretty great. It used to be a KGB black site, which was operational during the 50s and 60s. This brings a lot of That's intrigue cool. to the safe house, and that is sick. will allow players to explore and discover secrets from the past. The team is also bringing back the evidence board, which is still oh, a I, piece of the safe house experience. I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't like the evidence board that much, but it's okay. Players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze evidence collected throughout missions. Dude, oh, this game is gonna be so peak, boys. Okay. It looks like everything they did was okay. mocap, which the is pretty comes nice. In. I'll go. Three, two, one, go. Ouch. That was sick. Ouch. That is sick. <laughs> With Black Ops 6, Omni movement. Is okay, this is the new movement system. That experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode. Oh. We've pushed ourselves at every corner to innovate and craft 
the most signature Black Ops experience for our players. This will either be really good or really bad. Movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. And with Black Ops 6, we're redefining movement across the entire game. For the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction and move like a true Black Ops action hero with an entirely new global system we call Omni Movement. Yeah, I don't know. It, it'll either be really good or really like bad. Never before and seamlessly chain combat. I'm excited like for it though. Slide, dive, and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion. That's pretty dope, boys. From the beginning, we started with you can't do this thing. Why? And then realize people actually move that way. What happens if we get rid of that construct? And then instantly it opened up like, oh, if you can sprint in any direction, then you can dive in any direction. You could slide in any direction. That's which pretty then dope. led to all the on the ground movement and everything else chaining together. Dude, the Omni movement, it seems cool, but I don't know. It's either going to be really good or really bad. I know some people weren't looking forward to this in the TikTok I made about it. It's really been something that changes how you think and play the game. Whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies. Interesting. We truly oh, it's in zombies too. Once you and in zombie movement, there's no going back. Okay. Imagine a multiplayer. We're calling intelligent movement. Juggernaut mini fridge. Set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. Well, you got 40 plus viewers right now. I know type, type boys. And they're broken down. If you guys are new, drop a sub, boys, for more COD content. Sprint assist, mental assist, and crouch assist. And each of these settings will this allow for. This is just convenient. Button press is zero. Really started with this idea that we want. I don't know if I like that. To focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. We want every player, regardless of skill level or input or experience with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni Movement and live out their own action. Hello, what's up, YouTube Theory? How's it going, bro? Six. Yeah, welcome all the new people that came in today, by the way. We looked at other genres like racing games, where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. It's so we good. We really love the idea of taking that thinking and it just makes me so happy. movement options. I don't think this is a one size fits all thing, and I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. That's fair. That's fair. So you'll have a lot of customization in terms it's of the regions movement. on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions. So now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location. Holy that they shit! Were hit. That's sick, dude. So world connectivity is this concept that players' movement and reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. A great example that really shines is a global feature we call corner slicing, where as you round a Whoa. corner or go through a doorway, your weapon's going to dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. It's dynamically it's dynamic, rotating. It'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room, but won't affect you at all if you're barreling full That's speed fire. around the same corner. That is so sick, we are dude. We're constantly looking for opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations in Black Ops 6. Oh shit. There's a juggernaut. Take cover. Our, our team is super thrilled to show you the best looking characters oh, that we've done. It's so good. Through our process of photogrammetry, gear was acquired, scanned, and incorporated onto each of our operatives. For our faces, a dynamic. Oh, it looks so good, dude. It's making me like two up, boys. I'm so excited. To make every emotional, impactful moment true to actual life, we made sure to have special attention to the cuticles and make sure that they don't look like they're just freshly cut. There's dirt in between their nails, <laughs> and the oils on their That's pretty sick. It's always good. That's always good. That's always good. Situations that they're in. Oh, that's our first look at the zombies, boys. The thing that I'm most excited about is the number of new weapons from the era that we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. Oh, that's so fire, boys. Operatives, and they operate outside the normal playbook. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary, and it allowed us to pull a unique mix of weapons. That gun looks so we cool, sure bro. Dozens of unique attachments for every gun, and this allows the players to create a weapon to match any play it's style so you good. can imagine, all while maintaining the feel it's and so tone good. of the era. 
In Black Ops 6, we really strive for striking that balance between real and hyper real, but we want to ground our effects in realism. We find real world reference so that we can match that motion, the weight, the timing, then riff off of that and create that hyper real look that everybody has come to know and love from Call of Duty. Such a Debbie, bro. This is why Treyarch is the best fucking COD studio, boys. Like, let's not even cap, dude. The Black Ops 6 user experience is all about focusing players oh, on Oh, thank God. When the HUD is always good. The HUD sucks HUD right different. now. From the mini map to the ammo widget to in game notifications. In Modern Warfare 3. The Black Ops 6 HUD combines some of our best designs in a clean, streamlined experience. For the first time in Call of Duty, players will be able to change their HUD in dramatic ways to suit their needs. You can for change instance, the HUD. Streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup. Or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't have to look away. Want to play hardcore anywhere? Or finally put the minimap in the bottom left? That's Those a W! As well. Not only does the HUD give players important status, it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being awesome. That's a when W! track that elusive challenge or target their next level unlock, Black Ops 6 delivers an end-to-end -end experience from the lobby into combat and back, where player progress and achievement are celebrated in a big way. That is so sick. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The menu HUD doesn't look that great, but the fact that you can customize the HUD in-game... That's crazy! Progression. Okay, this Early is always on important. In Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love, both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community, for how we used to handle prestige. The prestige system! Traditional oh prestige is back in Call of Duty with Black Ops 6. Let's go! We've pulled the best Finally. of the best from past Call of Duty prestige systems and are going bigger and more rewarding than ever. W in the chat, reach boys. Max player level will have the choice to enter prestige, start fresh with relocked gear, and go through the leveling journey again. Black Ops 6 will have w. 10 prestiges, each with a valuable set of rewards to earn. And Just give us a fire prestige master again. Players who make it through Prestige 10 aren't done. These Instead, are the Black Ops 3 ones. Into Prestige Master with a Those are Black Ops 3 ones. Levels to climb through and a classified reward to uncover for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. The full we Prestige have to make it to the end. is available on day one in Black Ops 6. I would hope it would be, but yeah. <laughs> oh, Prestige is back. I made a video talking about that like last week, but I'm, it's exciting to hear them say it, you know? Multiplayer, boys. We know how many of our players look forward to multiplayer, and we will be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. Oh. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. We're getting more our information since day one later has on. been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. So there's like factions, of weapons, but there's three of them only. And multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode, which we're happy to announce is returning. Theater mode! I know I talked I about that previously as well, but today, it's nice to hear but him say But of course that. that means you're gonna get some early details on maps. Map design, boys. Let's see it. We're happy to announce Let's see it. that we will be launching with 16 all new MP maps. We've got 12 core 6v6 and four strike maps, which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. What do players 16 like? maps on launch? That they want? So we're back to our classic three lane maps. We've got fast, frenetic experiences. Did they just say 16 maps on launch? More medium size, like better for hardcore pacing to keep the action flowing, but still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. The Holy. maps have their own stories and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer. That's level. so sick. That's so sick. We got to do this game with subs when it comes out, boys. 6v6, so we can have we like 12 people today, in. But couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Zombies, boys. Zombies. Oh, finally! 
Okay, please be good. Please be good. <laughs> Round base zombies is back. Gobble gums. The dark aether oh. storyline where we left it. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch with a curated mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. For those new to zombies, it's our unique take on the Who's new to zombies? Where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades. Deadly enemies. Dude, that zombie is huge, bro. What the fuck? The legacy of zombies is incredibly important to Treyarch, and we are so proud of what the Good. mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As Good. you've heard today, the innovations and movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Okay, Plus, that's fire. There are many additional I think that'll zombie be specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic return for round based zombies. Be on the lookout for more intel coming later this year. More intel coming Stuff this year? AD Please AD give us art. more. Now we know we only gave you a little taste of oh, multiplayer here today. So no, sure that was it for zombies? For our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty next on August 28th. We'll be streaming that here. Details and watch your favorite streamers get hands-on Black Ops Six, so you can be prepped and. By the way, that's me. By the way, boys. And feel Omni movement for yourself. We all get in early access. We'll be sharing so much more about Black Ops Six in the coming months, and look forward to I'm seeing excited. reactions and your feedback from our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. And it's not just about launch because oh. the team is already focused on delivering Dude. a ton of content in the live seasons, which we'll be sharing more about. Oh. Am I allowed to talk about Warzone yet? No. Oh, Warzone! No. Our goal on Black Ops 6 It's fine. It's fine. I'm not stressing about something that. that is it's the fine. Best I don't care about Warzone done, that much, though. And frankly, the most fun to play. To do that, we deconstructed all, all our gameplay, Warzone fans? our systems, and content plans, and repeatedly asked how something could be better. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations like Omni Movement, where we're now allowing it's players phenomenal. to move how real people and operators move. In other cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems like Prestige, then taking that classic system oh. through the ringer and making updates and improvements. It looks Across so good, weapons, boys. weapons, gear, operators, maps, and more. A good dance for push sake, I know. I agree, dude. And audio fidelity possible. The campaign tells an all new Black Ops story where you're forced to go rogue. Oh, the campaign's gonna be so good, boys. Teams that trained you. We'll on do a marathon that, stream on that really when that comes out. On mission and engagement variety. Multiplayer is a key ingredient in the DNA of Black Ops, and hopefully, in the sneak peek, it was clear that who are these dudes just chilling in the back, dude? The game loop will be improved <laughs> and better than ever. Fifty, I know we got a lot of people in here. To shooting to footsteps to engagement Welcome to channel, systems boys. Welcome. to death. And last, I hope you guys are excited for this. not least, the triumphant return of round base zombies. I have to pause after this and look There's at that map. There's so much more to share across it all looks three fire, game dude. modes before the game officially launches. It looks October beautiful. 25th. October 25th. On behalf of the entire team, we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. October 25th. We know when it's releasing. That's not even that far. Oh my god. Which blackout? They said blackout's not coming back, unfortunately. Oh, October twenty fifth. It's crazy. Vault edition. Okay, let's see. We know what the vault edition includes, but it's it's pretty sick. Operator packs, the zombies, uh, master class stuff, cod points. Okay, that's fire. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah. Boogie bomb, boogie bomb, boogie bomb. POZ, POZ, POZ. I got the plug for your Xbox. Whoa. If you gotta pull it, save.